I am called Ben Lokeris Koryang. Nice to meet you, Ben. I'm um, here at the Border Work stall uh, here at this wonderful exhibition. So, uh, Ben, tell us more about Border Work. What do you do mainly? What is the main thing that made Border Work known as Border Work? Yeah, first and foremost, of course, we are a social enterprise. Okay. We, we look at uh, problems here locally in Uganda, at the bottom of the pyramid. We don't invent nothing new, we okay. substitute what is there. Okay, okay. You know, we substitute what is there sustainably using technology. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bodavag is a battery company. In essence, it's a battery company. Okay. Uh, we produce a lithium ion battery that runs various applications. Okay. One of the applications in mobility is the motorbike, you know, where we substitute the petrol running train with an electric train. Okay. So the battery that you just had me saying that we do or what we are is what we put in these electric bikes plus the motor. Okay. Some of them are geared, some are not. Oh. Uh, in this particular case, uh, you have a bike that will give you 120 kilometers on one single charge. Oh, that's amazing. That's actually a very big, big range for sure. That's yeah. a long range. Mm. Yeah, um, so that means um, in terms, you talked about one, um, that long distance, 120 kilometers on one charge. Mm. How would, does this battery get charged? Do I have to keep carrying it to you? Do I go home? Let's say if I owned the bike, do I go home with the bike and a charger or do I always have to come to you to refill the battery? No, you don't have to come to us. Mm. Uh, we call it democratic charging. Mm. So you can just take it home. And charge it on your socket. Ah, yes. Just okay, so ordinary like, socket. Ordinarily, yes. Like you would charge your your laptop. Okay. This is where we have reached. Okay. Yes. That sir. is awesome. So in terms of bikes, because um, I first heard of border work when you guys were converting bikes to electric. Um, do you have those that you make and sell, or is it like a, on a personal basis only? We are already now selling to B two B customers, business to business. Uh, okay. Just like I told you, we were on the validation phase. You know designing, testing, trying to validate it. So there are customers that say, oh, you know what, we are big enough, we are, we are green enthusiasts. Yes. We already think it's good, let's develop together, so we shall buy. We have sold, uh, in terms of bikes, we have sold more than 100 bikes, uh, oh. mostly to B2B customers in Kenya. Okay. Siemens Foundation, okay. Power High, M Copper, yeah. Oh, that is actually very awesome. Mm. So if, let's say, I'm an ordinary person and I and I'm a green enthusiast, yeah. and I wanted, let's say, a bike for myself. Mm. What would it set me back? What is the rough estimate, cost-wise, if I wanted a bike today? Our battery costs six million. That's the battery only? Battery only. Okay. It's just because we, 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 are not, we have not scaled it up, really. Uh, you, you know how the orders are. Yes. You know, there are some components that we import from outside, and when you import at scale, then it will reduce. Later, yes. it will come, where we are targeting to reach to Total bike mm. to come to the normal price here at about 4.6 million. But right now, if mm. you want it offhand, right now, yes. it's 12 million shillings. 12 million Run shillings. Run your bike with a motor and battery range that gives you 120 kilometers. Yes, interesting. 12 that, million. That, that is very, very interesting. Yes. Okay, away from the bikes, I, I have known you guys who, like you said, you're innovators mm. and you keep uh, substituting things that, you know, help the, lo the layman down there. Mm. What other things do you have in your production line? that are meant, you know, targeting these people. What Using the same battery, yes. if, you, if you look to my right, there is a, a generator. It's a power generator using the same battery. If you look at it very well, we have two of our batteries. Okay. That are just the same as the one we take on, we put on the bike. Okay. Um, we, we, we add an inverter. Okay. And we, we are able to, 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 to get productive use or substantive mobile power. It's on wheels. Ah, nice. In that case, we can weld. If you are an artisan somewhere and you weld or... Hold on. You're trying to tell me I can do real welding using battery power? Yes, you can use, you can do real welding using battery power. I think I'll request one of our colleagues to, to come and, and show you. So that generator, apart from welding, um, what else can it power? Can I power my house? Can I... You can power your house fully. For how long? Complete with three days on one battery. Three days, one battery, the whole house. An average house with a TV, a fridge. Wow. Maybe eight bulbs. Wow. Yeah. How much is that now? If someone wanted it for their building now, what would you set them back? Um, the system with one battery will go for 13 million. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. So that's actually a very, very uh, multi-use system. 
Let's say you go to the village where there's no power, mm. you have a function, mm. no more family function like a wedding. Yes. So you are able to take that, disconnect it to your radio system. So you'll no longer have this scenario where you have a generator competing with your sound system. <laughs> Very true. I've actually encountered that where the generator yeah, is louder. That. Yes, if you have a bigger one, <laughs> to, you will okay. dance electric. <laughs> you will dance to power. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Um, okay, so apart from the generator, what other products do we have? Um, we have uh, our batteries running uh, outboard motors for fisher boats. Okay. Uh, we are doing that uh, together with a company in um oh we are powering it okay companies in kenya around the kisumu region okay in the lake victoria asobo mm. we are also doing it uh, we're piloting it with uh, equatorial power on lake victoria yes for productive use you know when you build up a mini grid mm. uh, it's so it's usual normally that uh, the rural folk this is the first time they have encountered electricity true so what happens is you just use it for lighting you know, but mm. you know, if you've invested into to, to a mini grid, yes. that's a lot of money. True, true. So, true. so somehow they are trying to to, to see that it's, it's you know it's productive. They can use it productively. Uh, in that way, the rate of in, return mm. of interest on their money is much faster. You okay. Know? And, and, yeah. Okay. Um, I also see on the table there something Kapawa. What is that Kapawa thing? Like Kapawa. <laughs> Power banker. <laughs> really? How many? Uh, uh, are, how big is that now? These are uh, capacity range that is uh, fifteen thousand milliamp hours. Fifteen thousand. Mm. Wow. So these are power banks. Uh, okay. What we have done here, as, as you know, there is waste. Oh yes. There is waste from uh, the, the, the system, the type of system that we are using mm. for the batteries that we are using to build this uh, these batteries. These are lithium ion batteries. Yes. After some time, they keep degrading. Yes. But that doesn't mean that they are they're mm. completely, you know, yeah, they're yeah. spoiled sure. or something. Sure. Just that they don't have power now. In mm. case of mobility, to give mm. you a range of 120, they might give you 70. Yes. But you're used to that 120. So what we do is like we say, okay, bring that battery mm. and we can still use it for power, stationary power. Okay. And also if the degrade, we can put it into power banks or torches. Okay. You know, uh, this is like a cycle. If you run up maybe about 11 years or something of using this lithium ion battery. So, so basically, that reduces, that elongates the cycle. Yeah, the cycle the of the battery. Yes. usage until you take it to maybe recycling or, or, or you dump it. <laughs> you okay, dump it. Um, how much is the power bank? Uh, that one is 99,000. 99, and the other one is 69. Oh, so there's that a smaller one. 99, 69. Uh, uh, and then um, the torch is 40,000. Okay, okay, that's this not is, so bad. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, this also does charge uh, like by USB or something? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They okay, do. They okay. Do. That is really awesome. I like what you guys are doing here. It is awesome to see innovators come together to, to make something unique and solve our problems here in Uganda, you know, the, the, the way people actually can relate to. That is really awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's been awesome having a chat with you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank I'll, you for I'll, I'll definitely pass by the offices and have a longer chat. J just know when you see something yeah. in, in terms of technology, when you see it working somewhere, mm. just know it's, it's made by humans. <laughs> true. So, <laughs> All right, true. If Th it's made by humans somewhere else, uh, we can also make you it can here. Definitely. At least we are trying. Definitely, to. definitely. Th thank you so much. Sir. All right, thank you so much. Okay. All right. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you.